Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with the Rising of the Shield Hero season two episode number twelve reaction. All right, the previous episode, um, Kazuki is dead. Kyo came to came and kind of warned him, don't move. He moved and he died. And I think he's dead. Like uh, Kyo did take him and I don't know what he's doing, like experimenting on him or something. He did say that he's going to bring him back. I don't believe that. He probably has his own plans. Anyways, um, that happened and uh, uh, Raftali and everyone is back to um, Kizuna's uh, place and uh, we get to know the actual, I wouldn't say reason, but yeah, reason you could say behind why Glass and their crew attacked Naofumi. It was like the, the fact is that they were not sure whether defeating Naofumi and the heroes would stop the waves but they thought that was the only option left which i don't blame them for because obviously they know that their world is going to be destroyed the waves are coming so they had to try to find out some way to actually try to stop it so they probably thought that okay maybe going to the different world and defeating the heroes will stop the waves and that's what they try to do you know like he, he, they didn't have any choice so yeah uh, so it, it was not confirmed obviously kizuna was mad at that kizuna kind of said that so i i would have chosen a different way and she is like we're going to find a different way to deal with this now another new character comes in yomogi who is kyo's childhood friend and she wants to help kyo out and she gets very easily defeated because she was heavily outnumbered number one number two the sword that she was using was kyo's mage sword and it tried to suck in her power or something and something like that and that happened and uh, yeah she was taken captive she tells us a little backstory of who kyo was this and that and uh, later on uh, she's taken uh kizuna takes her to her own place and uh, that's when something happens uh, a wave like you know the the timer starts running again the wave starts all of uh like you know except now for me the people the heroes here all get teleported to the wave and uh yomogi gets to realize that kyo was actually not trying to stop the wave but trying to create a wave so there you go now let's see what happens and uh, if like Nafumi has not been teleported so i don't know what he's going to do so let's see so yeah let us begin this is episode number 12 and uh, yeah i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go Okay. Oh, is this Kyo? Yo, he looks like Rudy from Moshu Tensei. <laughs> ah. Damn. I have to IP. Yeah. Oh, he actually, oh my God. He actually died. But now from was teleported by opening a book. Yeah, this guy's crazy. This guy is crazy. I, like they made like a little backstory for him. No. Dimension web. Oh boy. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they're in the... Yeah, Kyo... 
Oh, Ethnobald is here. Okay, yeah, she, he can teleport here. I forgot about it. I was like, he was taken there, so Nathan can't go with, you know? But he can easily teleport here. Okay, makes sense. Mm. Oh, she's here. Yeah. That was his plan. Alright, now for me, calm down. No, she didn't know. Wait, she did she know? Okay, there you go. She thought that she was going to stop it. Hmm. What? Okay. All right. So they're going to go with the. We can fight the wave while Nathan is going to stop Kyo. Makes sense. Yeah, she can fight pretty well. Like she, she's the hunter hero, hunting hero. And uh, yeah, yo, look at these monsters. Damn, these are some crazy monsters. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, she cannot fight properly, so. Hmm. Yo, look at Raf's face. What happened to her face? <laughs> the animation and the drawings are crazy in season two. My God, sometimes the faces they make. Oh. oh, oh boy, here he is. Didn't I say? They're monsters now, or chimeras. Wow. Great. And those, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh boy. Ooh. Ah, oh my god. All right. Well, yeah. Oh, she has a jewel? Ah. <laughs> oh my god, she's... Damn. Oh my god, this thing. Stop! Okay. Damn. Is it going to blow up or something? Yep. Just like the other one. Wow. <laughs> Wait, how are they still... Oh, did nothing also protect them? Oh my god, this annoyance is back again. Oh. One of the worst villains of this show, this guy, like, this guy's just... Oh, wow.
What? Oh. Oh well. Soul of Wielder of the Mirror. Wait, Mirror? Oh, oh my god. Well, <sighs> whoa, 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 this g oh God. Ah, oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh God. All right. Okay, feel is getting stronger now. Yes. Yo, what is up with Raf's face? It looks weird. Now it's okay. Alright, here we go. Oh wow, what is this? Um... Oh, can someone please? I hate this. What a sad existence, this guy. Yeah, unless and until you die here, which I really hope. All right, kill him, please. Please kill him. Yeah, please, please kill this guy. Oh my God, the rage shield. Okay, calm down. All right, he is going. But you know what? I feel like using rage shield to defeat this guy. I really hope this guy dies, you know? Please, by the end of this season or whatever. Wow. All right, yeah, he's going to die. I think he's going to die. And I hope he dies the most painful death. This guy is just... Oh my god. All right. I wonder what tricks he has, has up his sleeves. Otherwise, why is he so cocky? Oh my God. Oh no, here we go. Iron Maiden or is it the, the, the blood sacrifice? Is this blood sacrifice or Oh my god. Oh, oh is this a dragon? Oh yeah, it's a dragon within him. Oh, 75 plus 76? His level. 
Oh no, that's something else. I really hope he has something up his sleeves, otherwise he's being stupid now. Okay, kill him. Oh my god. Now for me, calm down. Oh my god, he's, he's going crazy. Oh. Is the oh my god the rage? Oh my god! Oh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. I cannot. The faces are too funny in this episode. I cannot. Yeah. Kazuku is gone. <sighs> oh God. Oh boy. Shut up! Oh my god, this guy! Yeah, he had something up his sleeve. He was trying to... He was trying to rile him up for something. You fought her before. Did you forget? Are you stupid? Is this guy stupid? You f he fought her before and he saw what happened. But uh, I guess he does have the excess power or whatever the thing is. Yeah! Yo, wake up, man. Uh. All right, this is... <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, the dragon is just... Yeah, by trying to kill Rishia? How about no? Oh my god, he's again going the, down the... Oh, what the... Wait, is that... How is... Oh, the shield! Oh yeah, the, the she, she ha he has the shield, uh, the tortoise shield. And Ost is part of the tortoise, so I'm guessing that's why? Okay, so I'm guessing that's what happened here. Ost gave her the power and she's part of the tortoise, so... Oh wait, they're also here, okay. Yep, it's back again. Like, you know what, I don't think he even needs the rat shield to kill this guy. This trash. I don't think... Uh, there you go, the tortoise shield is here. 
Yeah, shut up. Die, please. Yeah? I really hope he dies. Please, for the love of God, end this guy. Maybe now from uh, Aftalia and Philo can help. I don't know how, but... Yep. Yeah. Oh wait, what the? What? How did it? Oh, the the mirror is also helping them. I don't think so. Yep. Whoa! It, oh, is this amplifying the power? The mirror, sh mirror vessel weapon? Yes! Oh my god. Yeah, you are looking like the biggest fool here now. What? I, I really don't understand he, why he did all of this. Like, we got a little backstory of this guy, but he's just irredeemable, I think. He's, he was just that toxic player we get sometimes in, in, the, in the games, you know? So, oh, oh, is that Gizma? Yeah. Oh, everyone's here. Oh, yeah, they, they stopped the waves. Thank God. So I'm guessing someone else will become the mirror hero. <laughs> Go back to the world. Hmm. A month. Wait. So. Yeah. Wait, is that what's going to be in the next episode? Like them just chilling? Wait, what the? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> what? That was anticlimactic. I thought they were going to just chill for the next episode. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> well. I'm wondering what's going to happen in the next episode. This is a third episode, doesn't it? Like. All right, they're going back now. No, thank God, Kyo and both. Uh, what was his name? Kazuki. Yeah, both Kyo and Kazuki are gone. I'm glad we don't have to see them again.
like i really don't like like i i guess like characters do have sad backstories and stuff but kyo was just a toxic player he was just like that he took his own life came to this world and decided to become this this thing this annoying disturbance in this world he just okay still something left after I returned home ah a medal face count wait okay yeah ah so who stopped them oh the heroes okay Yo, they're like yeah, Don't make that smug face, you know, it's king you actually Oh boy Wait, who's this? Who are these new characters? Yeah. Oh, next season, I'm guessing we'll meet them. Okay. Wait, what? I don't understand one thing. I thought this had, this had 13 episodes. You know what? Let me check. I, I think this is, this looks like the final episode. What happened? I thought there were 13 episodes. I'm really confused now. Well, e even in my anime list, it's written 13 episodes. Yeah, uh, 13 episodes uh, airing April 6th, 2022 to June 29th, 2022. Today is June 22nd, so one more week. And this is episode number 12. <laughs> the way it ended, I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, this looks like, like the end of the season. So what are we going to have next episode? I guess time will tell. I don't know. What, what, what was this? I have no, I've never seen an anime do something like this. You know, like this is the 12th episode. They ended it like this. And I'm like, okay. Like, if it was like 12 episode and one OVA, I would understand. I would be like, all right, that's it. But it's, it's written 13 episodes this season has. Anyways, I guess we'll have to wait for the next week to see what's going to happen. Either way, this seems like the end. And uh, yeah, everything like the, 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 you know, the, the, everything looks like the ending episode. Like the, this episode had no opening. Usually like, you know, the final season episodes usually don't have an opening. And they kind of do the ending as the opening kind of thing. Same thing happened here. So, and the logo in the end, one of the biggest Anyways, all right, let's talk about this episode. Oh boy. So we begin with them drawing a parallel between Naofumi and Kyo. <laughs> like, oh my God. I, I can, like, I don't understand that like, this guy is... So basically, as far as I could understand, Kyo actually had no redeemable feature. Like, you know, he, he was not redeemable at all. Like, I would have understood like if he had some kind of a bad story in the past some kind of a aspiration some kind of a some kind of a goal that is why he's doing all of this i could have at least been like you know what yeah he was doing going towards his goal and that's why he had to do all of these things okay at least at that front i could sympathize you know like he only chose the wrong path i could have been like this but from the little bad story we got i okay let me read this part um now for me you both are talking about their experiences uh we see a section where the she, he's in a forum i think uh, i don't know who's who is this like it's name nameless vagrant is this kyo or is it someone else and it's written die die i'll kill all of you die 
somebody and there's someone else who's saying somebody banned this loser so i'm guessing the person who's like you know being toxic is kyo here that's why i'm saying like you know like he he was also toxic in games like we can see how now for me is just like you know just having fun playing games while kyo is just like oh i'm i'm famous in the game the game has everything that i never got this and that and uh, like you know he's like this he is saying like i hacked your ip or something like that and uh, i i think that was kyo wasn't it who was doing this or is, was it someone else doing that to kyo let me know like, uh, this part's because of the translation i like you know, since it's written in japanese and the translation is just that like we could not like, you know, like, i could not understand i'm guessing kyo was the one who is who was doing the toxicity I might be wrong though, let me know at, at least like on you know, this portion what happened here. Anyways, so yeah, what Kyo did was he jumped out, took his life, and then in the end he's like, I'm not wasting my time with that crap. Um this is the second life I wanted. So I'm gonna seize it for all its worth. There you go. So basically he has no redeemable feature, he has no goal, he has nothing, he was just a toxic gamer before you know he wasn't able to do anything in his own life he just took his life and ended up in this world and the, then he was like oh you know i'm going to do all the bad things that one person can even like you know do and i'm going to do whatever the hell i want to you know i'm going to seize this world or whatever the hell he said here and uh, that's why he went to the other world get the spirit tortoise you know made use the spirit tortoise energy to make the wave I still don't understand what the hell was his end goal. He made the wave and then what? He, he created the calamity wave or something that he said. W why? I don't understand. Like, I'm, I'm guessing he was actually trying to mm, test or something like that. Like, the, the, some, uh, did he do all of this to test the power or something? And maybe he was going to use this for something else in the future. But obviously, Nafumi came and killed him before that. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm still not so sure about his end goal, what he, what he actually tried to do by doing all of this. Anyways. So yeah, like, he's, he's one of the worst characters in this show. Like, I... <laughs> oh my god, I cannot. This show is able to surpass itself in <laughs> all the worst villains. How? How can this happen in season one? You know, we were all annoyed with Moto Ese and the group and then obviously Mal you know, mine and all that stuff that happened the king as well and now we are like you know what yeah this this guy is even worse than that like what what the hell was his point of existence then he just he, he was he just existed to annoy others that was just it that was the point of his existence in this world he just came to this world to just annoy others and that's it wow just great <laughs> anyways so yeah that was like a little backstory in the beginning unfortunately usually with backstories we feel sad for the character or i don't know like feel some kind of like kind of empathize with the character yeah unfortunately that did not happen here kyo was a piece of crap he still is a piece of crap and uh, yeah and uh, okay so that's what happened and Wait, so I'm guessing he was... Oh, there's an interesting thing that I kind of overlooked. Uh, Yo... Yomogi, that was her name, wasn't it? Yeah. Yomogi talked about her being Kyo's childhood friend. So I'm guessing Kyo was... Ah, you know what? I understand. I was, talk I I was thinking, like, why... Uh, that would mean Kyo was here from the childhood, you know? From his childhood, he grew up. He got like kind of reincarnated in this isekai and then i was like then why did nafumi come here in his adult form then it clicked kyo killed himself he died that's why i'm guessing his soul came and he was born in this world while nafumi was summoned that's why he he came here not only nafumi but all the other heroes he came here in his usual age he did not get born here from a, a little age he came here in his present age, he just got summoned. So that's the difference between this. Interesting. So 
that would mean that the cardinal heroes like obviously uh, kizuna and uh, kyo both are cardinal heroes so that would mean um it's not that the cardinal heroes are always summoned but i'm guessing they can also be born in this world just like kyo was born kyo was a cardinal hero wasn't he yeah like all the people who comes from the other world is a cardinal hero i'm guessing and all the vassal hero like you know the all the other heroes who have vassal weapons they're people from this this world i'm guessing who just got get like you know chosen by the different um uh weapons for example raftalia you know like she she be, got chosen by the katana that's why she's a katana hero now she's the she has the katana vassal weapon all the vassal heroes are from this world i'm guessing and that's how it goes the cardinal heroes are the ones who are isekai okay but like i said so that means like not only like you know not it's, it's not that the cardinal heroes always get summoned here they can also be born here just like how kyo got born here i'm guessing or am, am, am i wrong yeah i think that's that's how it went okay so i'm guessing people who get who dies or gets hit by trap boom probably gets born here <laughs> and people who get summoned are like naofumi who gets here comes here in their usual age okay i think that's how it goes let me know if i misinterpreted something okay now <clears throat> obviously uh, everyone has been summoned to the wave and now for me is there and uh, it's nobody comes here i don't know why i never thought of this uh, in the previous episode, I was like, oh my god, what's going to happen? Ethelbert has also been summoned there. So, Nafumi has to walk. <laughs> I thought. But it never came to my mind that Ethelbert can teleport here and take us back to the, like, and, uh, take us to the wave or somewhere, somewhere else. It never came to my mind. Yeah, like, he, he just did that. He, he just teleported here. And <laughs> I don't know why, but I thought Nafumi had to walk or... <laughs> you know go go like you know on foot to the wave or something like that but never mind <laughs> ethnopult teleported here okay so ethnopult came here and um, now he like you know nafumi has been angry throughout this whole episode he has been fuming <laughs> kyo's bullcrap he, he he's not having it today so uh like you know when ethnopult comes and when yo yo uh oh my god i always forget her name yomo Yomogi, yeah, Yomogi. I was, I'm always thinking Yoimogi, not yo Yomogi. Okay, uh, Yomogi. You know what? Let me double check. Is her name Yomogi? Uh, yeah, Yomogi. There you go, Yomogi. Yeah, I was correct. All right. So Yomogi, like I said, Anafumi has been fuming from the beginning of this episode, and Yomogi, as Yomogi comes, and Yomogi is like, oh, Kyo did this to, to you know, like summon the wave Nafumi just lost it and he just grabbed her by the, <laughs> by the collar and he's like so you've been helping him out knowing all of that now this here I kind of you know like I have to disagree as far as I could understand Yumi did not know she th thought that Kyo is doing all of these all these sacrifices that he's making is to stop the waves that's why he's, she said that I was like you know I actually looked on the other side whenever he did these type of things i actually allowed him to do this and did nothing to stop him because i thought that all of this is for the world for them him to stop the way but he was actually not doing it to save the world he was actually doing all of this to do this to, to, to create a wave and she did not know that that's why she was so um, sad by the end of it because she unknowingly helped joe to do all of this so there you go <laughs> And uh, <clears throat> okay, so uh, uh, Nafumi then calmed down, and uh, uh, Ithambald says that uh, Kizuna and all of them are going to fight the waves over there while um, Nafumi goes and defeats Kyo. Um, Yomogi will also go with her, with him, and uh, obviously Raftali and all of them are there with them. We kind of got a little glimpse of uh, Kizuna, Glass, and uh, Lark fighting the wave monsters i don't know i I'm th i think they probably skipped stuff from here didn't they like they just showed a little glimpse and that's just it i was expecting a little bit more of them fighting the waves seeing them fight the waves or like you know kind of uh try to stall the wave or something but who knows maybe i'm not sure if they skipped parts from here 
I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Anyways, um, so yeah, they are at Kyo's laboratory. Uh, Ethnobalt went back to uh, uh, Kizuna's team, and uh, now Fumi and everyone comes in. Here we get to see uh, the three girls who was always with uh, Kazuki. They have been transformed into his Akimaira. Now, oh boy, like I knew this was going to happen. He, like they went to the worst person to ask for power. <laughs> like, like this is one of those like you know things. I, I, I would say one of those tropes. Whenever someone is like, oh, I'm going to do anything. Give me power. <laughs> and they more like you know ninety percent of the time they end up losing their humanity and to get turned into a monster. And there you go. Uh, especially since if it's a person like Kyo who is giving them that power. <laughs> so yeah. So they are like you know like this like this and um, obviously they're still trying to get Kazuki back. One thing I have to kind of um, commend them and uh, you know, is that they at least were loyal to Kazuki by even even uh, even when they are dying and they're almost uh, like you know their whole body is getting transformed into something else. They were still loyal to um kazuki which which is something that i that is good you know that i can commend and uh, obviously kyo comes in and i like always he's still a prick and he tells how um the like you know he brings uh, kazuki's body and talks about how this is a homunculus and he forced the soul of the wielder of the mirror vessel weapon into him and that's why I'm guessing he was able to use the mirror weapon, uh, the mirror vessel weapon. Okay, and so, oh my god, we barely even got to see the mirror vessel weapon wielder. Yeah. It's just that that person was gone, went missing, and that's just it. Anyways, um, so... Okay. Obviously, all the, the three girls are heartbroken after hearing this, and Kazuki has no semblance, you know, he's just going crazy using the mirror. And Kyo goes away. And Naftalia, Naofumi, uh, not Naofumi, sorry, uh, Naftalia, Philo, they say that, okay, we'll deal with them here, and Yomogi as well. And her and Rishia should go and defeat Kyo. So. They start fighting Kaz uh, Kazuki while uh, the two other two, right, Rishi and Nafumi goes and confronts Kyo. And here we go, the whole, oh my god, this guy is so annoying, this Kyo. He just, I, I cannot, whenever he was speaking, I was like, stop, please, just stop, like enough, <laughs> enough rap, like you know, rambling. And yeah, he, he tried to rile Naofumi up. I don't know what the hell he was planning. He was probably planning to do something. Because we've seen before as well, he usually, these type of situations, he usually has some kind of a plan up his sleeves. Like, you know, he tries to rile Naofumi up. I'm guessing he was planning to use his rage for something else. And I don't know, probably expecting Naofumi to self-destruct or something. And that's why he was just deliberately riling them up, talking about Aftalia, you know, like um, Philo, then Ost, all of them, and he's like, um, yeah, like, you know, just talking crap. And Nafumi just went crazy. The dragon inside him, the, 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 the thing, I, I think that was the dragon, wasn't it? You know, like inside his shield. And the, kind of the rat uh, weapon, uh, not weapon, sorry, the rat shield came up. And uh, the dragon was like, yeah. One thing I don't understand. What's up with the levels? Um, let me know. It, it was written level 75, uh, uh, beside Naofumi's level, level 75 plus 76. And obviously not only uh, Naofumi, but Raftalia, Philo, everyone had that, like an extra 70 or 80 level. What's up with that? Is that like some kind of a buff? I think so. Like, so it doubles the level? What type of a broken buff is that? <laughs> like, like, what type of a buff, like, you know, doubles your levels? Like, that's crazy. Like, from level 80 to level 160. Raftal is, like, level 160, that means. My god. <laughs> I don't even know if that's what it does. Like, you know, but it, I, I think that's how it works. It's written level 75 plus 76 in green. Beside now for me, so I'm guessing it doubles your level or something. Like, what type of a buff is that? 
that's a broken buff, you know? Like, the more stronger you get, it, it gets even more broken. <laughs> like, if you're, like, a level 200 or something, your level will be, like, 400. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyways, um... So, yeah, uh, Raf uh, Nafumi goes crazy, you know, the, um, the Wrath Shield comes in. And the dragon starts kind of, you know, like, just saying, like, oh, give me, like, you know, like, uh, like you know, like... Uh, like, I'll give you my power, accept me, this and that. And, um... He gets completely, cons almost consumed by the, the by the rat, and the dragon in himself was talking. Um, you know what? I think this whole scene where he grabs Risha by the throat and like you know gives his impression on her. I feel like there's like, you know, like obviously most of the things that he was doing at that moment were ki kind of been done by the dragon or his rat that was controlling him. But I feel like there's little bits of his own opinion as well i think you know like uh obviously now the first thing that now from says about philo and raftali is that uh, they were useless but now they're okay something like that he says obviously the dragon was doing that but then when he talks about Rishia, i feel like there is a little bit of uh what can i say like his own thoughts and opinions in that what he says is something that i don't blame him for you know, like what he says here, obviously because uh, like you know, he's being he was being um, controlled by the, the the rat and the dragon. Not only that, even if the words that he said, you know, like it, it was his own um, thoughts. I think at least even like twenty percent of what he said was his own opinion on Rishia as well. And what he says is that like you know, why am I dealing with a person who just wants to get in? <laughs> who just want to get in uh, what's his name itsuki itsuki's pants like that like that's a very crude way to say that but you can probably understand what he was trying to mean like you know he was trying to say that like why why am i dealing with a person who's just going to you know like whose who, who's loyalty lies with itsuki the same person who who actually was one of the reasons of my pain in in when i came here you know like in season one all he went through, like a maximum of it was because of Motoyasu and mine, but still a few, like, you know, like, like, like you know, at least like 20 to 30 percent was because of Ren and Itsuki, the pain that he had to go through. So, obviously, like, and he is a human, so he must have thought, like, then why? Why am I helping this girl out who's just, like, you know, who, who's, who's doing all of these to go back to, uh, like, you know, Itsuki's party, who's loyal to Itsuki? Why the hell am I, am I helping him, her? Like, you know, why am I being this selfless? Like, these type of things must have come to his mind. Like, that's why I'm saying, like, and I don't blame him, what he, he thought here. But obviously, the dragon was controlling him at that moment, so that's why the way he said that was very wrong. The way he completely said this section, you know? And he was so wrong. <laughs> the way he said that, like, my god, it was just crude and vulgar completely. But obviously, Risha realized what he was trying to say. And what his thoughts on Risha is. And that's what Risha said. Like, you know, I always wanted to know what you thought about me. So thankfully, like, you know, like, I get to know now. And, like, that's when he, and after that she says, like, you know, like, like you know, you can think whatever you think about me. You know, whatever grievances you have against me is fine. But, like, you know, for Raftalia and Philo, don't be like that. Because, yeah, they're your friends. They're your allies. You know? And obviously, I'm sure now for me also knows that. It was just that the dragon's influence was too much on him. Uh, not dragon. I'm not even sure if that's a dragon. Like, you know, that rat thing in him. Um, anyways. Um, okay, so he just, was just going crazy. One thing I'm... I'm uh, one thing I'd, I'm kind of surprised about. Whenever Rafum goes into this rage mode, Phil also has like a chain reaction, doesn't she? Why did nothing happen like that in this episode? Like, I thought... Hmm, I don't know. Maybe that did happen and they just didn't show us. Because they were fighting somewhere else, you know. I don't know. Anyways, um... So, obviously, like, you know, when um, uh, Risha says that, like, Nafumi kind of comes back to his own self. And, uh, obviously, Kyo is like, ah, what are you doing? You're, like, you know, just, yeah. <laughs> but, like, throwing water in my efforts or something like that, he said. And he's just yapping around and... I love the fact that he he just keeps yapping around and whenever, like all the time, Rishat comes and 
that kind of like you know gets <laughs> gets an advantage over him even in in the previous section he just you know in 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 the, in the other world he just kept blabbering all bull crap and Risha just came and just like just just beat him up and here again he was just like blabbering and Yishia comes in with a sword and just points it towards him <laughs> like he never learns you know like this is the thing that is just so annoying about him he himself is not powerful you know like this Kyo all he does is just keep like you know these they can do these dirty tricks just trying to rile people up and trying to manipulate them mentally and not only that you can like you know, just taking unfair advantage of people like obviously the yomogi and all the others doing experimentation on others by deceiving them tricking them and using some other thing some other source of power for his own and acting smug about the whole situation that's 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 what can i say that's the indication of a coward just like Risha said, you're a coward. That's whenever a character does these type of things, that's an indication of a coward. And I hate these type of characters. They just keep, you know, just keep their smug face behind like a shield all the time. They themselves can't do nothing, can't do anything. And I guess one thing he could do is just he he was like, you know, I guess he was a good researcher, you could say. That's I guess one thing he had for him. Other than that, nothing. What 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 did he have? Nothing. He, he's just that one character who's just toxic and who just doesn't realize what type of an annoyance he is. And uh, yeah, there you go. And okay, so Nafum is still trying to keep himself like, you know, calm. And uh, Risha is trying to defeat Kyo. All of this was happening while Nafumi, you know, like in the inside again, the, the, the wrath or the dragon thing, it was like, why are you doing this? Like, you know, give me, like, you know, you... Like you know, I'm let take my power. You know, I'm going to give you everything. And he 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 tried started again, kind of um convincing now for me. He said something like, "Oh, you're going to need my power sooner or later. I'm going to help you out, and you'll you know you'll have no problem. You know, just take my power again." You know, he was kind of trying to um get him in, give in to his wrath. While all of this was happening, in comes Ost, and I'm guessing Ost was Ost came here because. Ost gave the turtle's power to the shield and he Nafumi has the turtle shield. I guess that's why the personification of Ost kind of came in like in like a spirit form or something and calmed Nafumi down over here. Because Ost and the turtle it's also is the same kind of I guess. So yeah, Ost came in and Ost calmed Nafumi down. And here we go, the rat shield completely went away. In comes the tortoise shield. Obviously Kyo is mad. Kyo is like, my plan is all, <laughs> all destroyed, blah, blah, blah. And uh, uh, like, you know, when Nafumi comes back to his own self, he sees that uh, Philo and uh, Raftalia is here, you know, and they're kind of holding him. Yomogi is also here. They have done their own job. They have defeated um, uh, Kazuki, the homunculus thing. Now I do wonder what's going to happen to those three girls, you know. I'm, hopefully they, I don't know, they they i don't even know like if there's like some kind of uh, medicine to bring them back to their human self but like they're kind of like you know they're, they're like a chimera now so hopefully something is able to help them out who knows in the next season maybe we'll know i don't know so okay so yeah raftalia philo is here and uh, naofumi uses the shield uses the tortoise shield <laughs> To just obliterate Kyo, and I love the fact that even when Kyo was dying, he kept like <laughs> this is a typical toxic player, you know. Like they are not able to actually understand their faults and just keep keep just what can I say? Like saying the same thing over and over again, even after they can't do anything. Like for example, he was dying. His last words. Kyo's last words actually were Great, enjoy your victory Guys like you always end up looking like fools in the end Ironic, you are the biggest fool in here You are looking like the biggest fool You know Now, and this is your end So in your end In Kyo's end He ended up being the biggest fool 
looking like the biggest fool. Ironic, the person who's <laughs> actually warning now for me about that is the person who's the biggest fool. So great. Okay. And he's like, as you'll find out soon, just laughing and just goes. Like, yeah, he's basically a toxic player. He's basically a toxic um, gamer who just annoys people out in the multiplayer games, you know, like just whatever, like, you know, like just whenever, whenever they die, they, they cry about how the other person is hacking, you know, <laughs> whenever they die, they just cry about how you're hacking. I'm going to report you, you know, like this will be a final day. My, my, <laughs> I'm going to hack you, these type of things, you know, and like the, <laughs> He, he, he also said, you know, I'm going to hack your IP. Kyo also said that. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, he's basically a toxic player just who just doesn't give up. You know, like he was, he, he straight through his, to his own self, I guess. Being a toxic little, like, you know, thing up until the end. And, you know, like, yeah, that's what they are. Like, I'm going to report you. You're a hacker. And just crying about the fact that they weren't able to be better than the other person so there you go that's that's skill basically like so basically the problem with Kyo was like he came here he was like <laughs> he was like i don't know like he thought that he was like a very powerful person here he could do anything and then in comes naofumi and he just kills almost kills Kyo, and Kyo is like just you know like in denial kyo is like ha you're going to see what is going to happen to you people like you never get a happy ending blah 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 and just dies and there you go what a sad existence like this guy i i cannot find any kind of thing that any kind of redeeming feature on this guy i cannot truly like yeah it's i guess his the main reason why he, he was in this like you know like it's the main reason for him being in the show was just being like a bad character. You know, now for me just defeating him. And I guess another reason why he was here is probably to make Naofumi's character development. And we see how Naofumi is able to uh, keep his calm, like, you know, calm in this episode. By the end, obviously at the beginning he went crazy. But by the end of it, he was able to bring back his calmness and he was able to let go of the wrath, I guess. So for that, I guess this like, Kyo, Kyo was unfortunately just a plot device, I'm guessing. He was just this annoying because they had to make a character like that so that Naofumi gets pissed off and then he kind of is able to control his anger. For that development, I guess they needed someone and Kyo was the perfect person. That's why they just introduced him in this show just for him to die by the end and Naofumi to get a good character development. I guess that was the whole point of his existence that's kind of sad if you think about it like oh my god uh, anyways um so yeah in the end we kind of see like uh, uh, ost is there in front of them ost kind of vanishes now this part i kind of i'm kind of confused i'm guessing ost is still in his shield isn't he she like ost is part of the tortoise so and nafumi has the tortoise shield or maybe it doesn't work like that Maybe Ost was just here for the time being and she just disappeared now. I'm not so sure about this, you know. But Nafumi does have the tortoise shield, so... I don't know, I'm not so sure. Yeah, who knows, maybe... Uh, maybe this is the end of Ost, or maybe we'll get to see her again when Nafumi brings back the tortoise, tortoise shield in the future, I don't know. We'll, that's another thing that I'm kind of thinking about. Anyways. So yeah, there you go, this... You know, Kyo is dead, everything is okay, the, all the heroes have defeated the um, wave, which unfortunately we never saw <laughs> them do, but yeah, all that happened off screen. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, they're back, and then Lark and all of them kind of have like a conversation, and um, Rish, uh, 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 Kizuna, Kizuna, yeah, Kizuna was kind of really hyped up, he was like, oh, like, you know, like, uh, the wave is gone. For the next wave, you'll have to wait and, you know, like, to go to your world. And there's, like, a month time. And during that time, we'll all have, like, you know, go fishing, have a banquet, have fun. You know, kind of <laughs> just hang around. But as, as soon as she was see saying all of that, the light appears and Naofumi is just being called back. So I'm guessing, um, yeah, Naofumi said that. I kind of thought this was going to happen. Because you remember, like, Ost gave them, like, a privilege or something like that. 
where like you know she allowed him to go you like, know come to this world and uh, it was just like a temporary pass i you could say so the mission is over you know q is dead that was the mission so there you go they're being called back that means so yeah anyways um so uh Kizuna is like uh, sad and she's like I didn't even say like you know thank you to you and then she like you know kind of thanks Nafumi and says like can I go back go go to your world and hang out Nafumi's like yeah <laughs> like you know and listen until you try to kill me you're welcome here <laughs> uh, and yeah they vanish and then Nafumi gets a title of Viscount and we get to know that all the heroes they have actually fought the waves while all of them were you know, uh, there in Kyo's world, uh, Kizuna's world, and uh, yeah, uh, Nafun gets the title of a Viscount. I, I think I said that, yeah. And I that scene where <laughs> I don't know, like when the, the when the, all the heroes like you know we're going back, and Iski looks at Rishia, and she has he has that smug smile as if like ah I knew this was what was, it was going to happen. You have grown well. That type of a vibe. I don't buy it. Please stop. Don't don't make this like that type of, type of a thing where <laughs> where it's like oh, I knew you were going to uh, like you know like <laughs> I knew you were going to improve like this like you know good job that type of a thing you know that type of a thing which anime does a lot of times whenever there's like some character who gets like growth and then there's like some other character who looks at them like that and they're like ah, I knew you had it in you that type of a thing. Please don't. I don't know. I still, like I mean, Itsuki kicked him out, kicked her out, and Risha uh, was taken in by Naofumi, and now he's acting this smug. Like what? I still hate Itsuki. You know, like Ren Moto. I said they're still they're okay. I don't like Itsuki at all. I don't know why. This this guy annoys me so much. I don't know. I'm 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 pretty sure they'll all get like a good, like you know good uh, what can I say like good character development in the future. Yeah. Uh, so, but up until that time, I think I'm, I'm I won't like this guy Itsuki at least. Like you know he he has this weird vibe, his weird smug vibe, which actually annoys me. <laughs> oh my god. But anyways, um yeah, there you go, and that's how it ended. And then we get like a little glimpse of a few other things. There's like one girl fighting someone in a Colosseum. Another new character, I think. And there was another slave, I'm guessing. Who was in a cage. These two. These two will be the new characters who will meet in the next season. Season 3. Or the next part of this season or something like that. You know, the other 12 episodes that are scheduled. So yeah, there you go. That's how it. I think it's ended. I don't know. I don't. I'm not quite sure. This is supposed to have thirteen episodes. So why does it seem like this is the end? So what will we have next week? I'm really curious as to as what we're going to get next week. So we'll have to wait. So yeah, I'm not sure if this is the final episode. If this is the final episodes. So yeah, there you go. That's it. That's for this season. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Like you know, like you know, I'll, I'll meet you guys again in the next season when it comes. Now. For this season, I have to say, I am really disappointed. Season 1 was so good. There's so many things that this season did wrong in so many ways. Number 1, um, I did not realize this, but from the comments, I realized that they're skipping stuff. Number 1, which is one thing that I just hate. I hate and whenever Anime Studios does this, they skip stuff and make it a complete mess. Now, I do know, that obviously, like you know, maybe the Anime Studio has some kind of budget issue, maybe some kind of a uh, like, you know, time issue, all that stuff. I understand but still like you know for that just butchering a good anime uh, like a good night novel or a good manga adaptation that that sucks like like you know that's that's one thing that i really don't like about like you know what some studios do they, they completely destroy an anime just like this and it's such a shame because these shows have such good stories that's one thing that i guess happened here they probably skipped a lot of stuff Number two, the animation was bad in this season. What the hell is, was up with the animation? Like, <laughs> like obviously, season one had decent animation. Season two, the, the, the faces and everything. Like, here in this episode, I was multiple times, I was kind of saying, like, what happened to Raph's face? Her face is like this big eyes. 
in the previous episode as well, Yoim, uh, Yomogi, her face was really weird. <laughs> the eyes were really weird. like you know, like just completely like one eye was here, one eye was there. <laughs> it reminded me of those like you know one one anime like you know there's like a meme I think where they show like you know like I think like a, a canon character canon uh, that's a show you know like like Clanad you know the same people who made Clanad canon that's another show if you know I think it's from that show there's like a character who has this eyes this <laughs> that meme that thing you know like it looked like that the eyes were so weird not only that the animation was bad i could see and uh, it was just weird that's the second thing that this season did very badly like no good animation this season the story was skipped most of the part the first part the first section was really boring you know the way they did it and i kind of got to know from the comments that the first section is kind of like an information filled epi like you know thing and they tried to quickly like you know go through that that's why they rushed that part completely which I, w I was like all right you know it's like because it was full of information it was boring maybe that's why i thought i thought like maybe that's why the studio tried to rush that the sec next part as well this part this whole q section they also rushed this part as well because this happened in like six or five episodes i doubt the light novel like you know did this in that amount of time i'm sure the light novel went into more details and stuff they probably just skipped multiple things here so these are all assumptions you know if i'm incorrect let me know um so yeah like overall this this season was a kind of a disappointment you know like i i love shield hero like the shield hero is such a great show i love it and the story especially in the, the final section was really interesting I, I would have loved if they actually made like 13 episodes solely for the last section you know the last section we had going to kyo's world all of that if they made that into like a uh, like a 13 episode thing it would have been amazing i think and, like you know i don't know like that could have probably made this so much better i usually don't even like you know like look for animation and everything i don't even pay much attention to the animation if the story is good i can i can forgive the animation for being bad but whenever they skip story parts and do stuff like this i'm always like why so yeah that's like the biggest grievance i think i have like they rushed tried to rush the story and it became a complete mess and like i said like you know like such a good show season one was so amazing I just loved season one so much and season two was like this but like i said that doesn't mean that i i didn't like the like you know uh, season two season two was okay you know season one was really good i expected season two to be also really good but unfortunately it was mediocre that's basically it the story in itself was really good i liked the final section story what happened and everything uh, like, you know uh, raftalia got the katana and all that we met a lot of new characters kyo is dead that's another thing to celebrate <laughs> and obviously ost we met ost as well all that stuff so yeah story wise i liked it but yeah the the skipping thing kind of is a disappointment but anyways there you go that's my impression about this season i really hope i don't know i'm kind of scared now what well, i don't know what's going to happen to the next season like if they continue like this then yeah shelter is doomed to fail this is going to be like like you know the seven deadly sins like how it went you know seven deadly sins season one season two really good season three it just completely goes down the yeah thing and then after that the subsequent seasons as well it i think it's bad so i'm really scared if this like if something like that is going to happen to this as well i really don't want that but we'll see we'll have to wait and uh yeah only time will tell uh let's pray season three is better than this <laughs> anyways uh so that's it thanks for watching this is my reaction to the rising of the shield hero season to episode number 12 i'm not sure if this is the final episode if it is the final episode then that's it if it's not then we'll meet again in the next week so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out and that's it guys thanks for watching and yeah i'll see you guys again i don't know next week if this is not the final episode then we'll see again next week but yeah 
So yeah, see you guys again. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.